The new MacBook Pro 14 inch M4 Pro model for 2024 will be coming with its brand new design that we have already and also we are going to give you more details on how powerful that M4 Pro chipset is going to be than the M3 Pro. Let's go over all the details about this and this will cover the specs for the new MacBook Pro including screen sign, design and other details too and of course give you the latest on the M4 Pro, MacBook Pro, release date and price too. But first let's jump in there where we are with the MacBook Pro. It's essentially being upgraded to a new chipset put inside of it. At the end of last year, at the end of 2023, we had the M3 chipsets introduced and they were all based on a 3 nanometer die. We now have the M3, M3 Pro and the M3 Max. What we also got a bit of a surprise was is that we actually have that new space black colour now that's been introduced. This new colour I wouldn't say is a fully black colour but it's more like a really dark grey. Everything else is essentially the same but we also did get a bit of more of a brighter display this time. We got a few hundred nits inside of the screen compared to the M1 and the M2 series of MacBook Pro models we've had before. The other change is also that the 14 inch model has now got the M3 chipset inside of it. We don't have that touch bar design anymore so this is the same as the M3 Pro and the M3 Max MacBook Pro design all across the board here except for with that M3 one we don't have the black color and also there's one USB-C port missing on one side. Apart from this though all of the models basically get exactly the same features they get that brilliant ProMotion mini LED display, better battery life, extra ports, better speakers and of course the updated new design too that we've had now for a few generations. It's looking likely though that going forward so Apple will be using the same design of MacBook Pros for the M4 series and probably the M5 series too before the design gets any major updates. So don't expect any brand new updates this time around. Of course there might be a few changes like we might finally get the introduction of Face ID in that notch at the top of the screen but apart from that nothing else is really going to actually change about the actual design of the MacBook Pros going forwards. The biggest change though what we will see with the MacBook Pros in the next generation is all to do with its chipset underneath. This time we're going to be getting the M4 Pro. Now Apple claimed that the M3 Pro came in at 20% faster in its CPU compared to the M1 Pro yet using the same amount of power as the M1 Pro uses. Even for graphics the M3 Pro is 40% more faster in graphical tasks than the M1 Pro again using that same amount of power. It's quite incredible for efficiencies. With looking at these charts, it's fairly obvious that the M4 could have an average of around about 60% more faster than what we have with the M1 Pro right now. And what this means is for the first time ever, if you were considering getting an upgrade over the M1 Pro, this might be the time to do that for more high demanding apps and tasks. And to go with that too, it may be possibly that Apple may increase the RAM again. Apple likes defy the normal laws of RAM so the normal laws of doubling up RAM like most manufacturers do right now and we saw this with the M3 Pro where it was increased from 16 gigabytes to 18 gigabytes and this time round who knows we may even see a starting amount of RAM as 20 gigabytes for the M4 Pro. It's also most likely that even with this more power and everything like this the efficiencies will stay the same or even be better than what we have with the M3 Pro, the M2 Pro and even the M1 Pro so this means that we still would be getting an 18 hour battery life out of a 14 inch model was absolutely incredible. Now having said all that at this stage I will mention that not all leaks and reports are 100% proof that everything that's being said here is definitely going to be coming true with the new M4 MacBook Pro. However if you're still watching this video then you're just curious in knowing what's being said about the new MacBook anyway. So the next question is on release date. So more than likely the main course of 2024 we will get say the M3 Ultra and that will come out in the Mac Studio and other other devices like the Mac Mini will get the M3 and the M3 Pro and that will happen before the end of the summer time. With the M1 Pro, M1 Max to the M3 Pro to the M3 Max, Apple will now have a pattern to bring out new chipsets every year and last year we got the M3 along with that. Over the last 10 years Apple have more often than not done a mid-October to early November time event and it looks like this could be happening the same. Just like what we had in 
2023, we had the Scary Fast event on October 31st. But whenever this event date is happening, it's going to be most likely around about that time. But until then, guys, keep posted on this channel and I'll let you know when the official date is actually going to be happening. So then, guys, what I just want to quickly talk to you about is the channel giveaway, what is happening on this channel right now. So I'm going to be giving away this. This here is a MacBook Air M2, and it's not just any ordinary MacBook Air M2. In fact, it has some great upgrades. I'm just looking at the specs here. It's actually got 512 gigabytes storage inside of it, and also, at the same time, it's been upgraded with 16 gigabytes of RAM, because as you know, in 2024, eight gigabytes of RAM is not enough. And if you want to get your hands on the spec up macbook air all you need to do is write down in the comments below of what apple gear what technology gear you're planning to get in 2024 to enter into this giveaway and also at the same time as well it's an international giveaway make sure if you are brand new here that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because i'll be announcing when a live stream is going to be happening to reveal who the winner is of this macbook air and you won't want to miss out on that so make sure you do that right now now again i'm gonna to have to say this sadly there's still loads of scammers spammers people in impersonating me telling you to whatsapp them telegram them all sorts of things like this and telling you to pay for shipping this is not me i'll be paying for shipping on this international giveaway so please do ignore them or better still as you can see here please do report them so then next of all let's go over the hardware specs and also what the baseline price for the lowest spec 14 inch macbook pro will actually cost us so then if we're looking at this chart right here the macbook pro 14 inch m4 pro or m4 max they're going to have lots of different configurations inside of it and as you can see here we are still going to get that 14 inch xdr liquid retina mini led display in there we're not moving to oled just yet and we will also be getting a resolution of 3000 by 1964 again pro motion display 120 hertz and also that nits brightness will be slightly more just like we got with the m3 pro series we will also get the 512 gigabytes as a starting amount of storage and this will go all the way up to eight terabytes of storage options again exactly the same what we had before then we actually have the actual chipset and this is the m4 pro and also the m4 max and this can be varying between between 13 to an 18 core CPU, depending on which model you have, is a binned version of the CPU or not of the M4 Pro, and then going all the way up to that 18 core CPU with the M4 Max. And then the same for the actual GPU, it could start at 16 core GPU with an M4 Pro, and this could go all the way up to a 44 core GPU, the max amount with an M4 Max. And then with the amount of RAM we could be getting, we could could actually see an increase again apple could do this because um, we actually got 18 gigabytes of ram last time and we could actually see for the first time 20 gigabytes of ram as the starting amount of ram and this could go all the way up to 192 gigabytes of ram this time this is 64 gigabytes more ram than the 128 gigabytes that we got with the m3 max again the body will be aluminum body and then again we'll have those options again as the silver and also the space black color ports are exactly the same that will be the magsafe we also have the three usb-c ports as well what are thunderbolt 4 ports what are also usb 4 hdmi 2.1 and also the sd card reader then on top of that as well we'll have the center stage webcam as a 1080p camera and then battery life will be up to 18 hours and then if you want to get the price um, on this one for the base model the starting out lowest spec will be the m4 pro 13 core cpu with a 16 core gpu maybe that 20 gigabytes of ram and also 512 gigabytes of storage and this will come in at 1199 us dollars 
And with that guys, that is a summary of the new MacBook Pro. In my opinion, it's really quite exciting to see the next generation of chipsets. And at the same time as well, I'm really excited that Apple are gonna probably keep those efficiencies exactly the same so we can get that great battery life inside the MacBook Pro. But it's time to wrap up this video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure you like the video. And also at the same time too, if you wanna hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.